Welcome to episode 14 of Xenoverse, and I'm going to do a quick team recap for myself, because um, I just took a quick break, my brain was like, uh, flit off. Anyways, so we got uh, Spork Bird, Reindeer, Bergmite, Haunter, Sandy Gas, and Vileplume. We're all pushing 30 now, um, <clears throat> and we're making our way through Gravity Tunnel. Uh, we just made our way here, and we got a new interesting mod, so if you guys want to check out the last episode, that's what you say, uh, you can check out that new mod we just caught, so now we're going to be continuing in the Gravity Tunnel here. And there's lots of fights to be had. Wow. 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 So if you guys enjoy what I'm doing here, make sure you hit that like button and uh, subscribe. And if you have anything inter interesting to say about this new fan game, then let me know. You know, see if there's anything you like about it, like a new mon. Or <clears throat> if you just want to tell me that I'm bad at the game, that's a, you know, that's an option too. It's not going to make me feel very good, but you can tell me it. Because I know I'm not perfect, but I do try. Ooh, baby. Raiden just... Oh man, it bums me out so much that, like, just if Raiden did, ha, was was just... had better stats. Like, his normal stats. And not, like, the flattest base stats that you could have. That he would be so good. Like, I just want to show this off, like, if you guys missed it. He has... Four in attack, in an attack lowering nature, and zero IVs in special attack. Like you could not get a lot worse than this, but he's still like so good with acrobatics. I just imagine him with like more standard stats and still having acrobatics. How good that would be! What got encounter here is that cool mono I was just talking about. So you know you can go check that out. Uh, you'll probably see him in a future episode as well. Uh, but unfortunately right now I can't, uh, I won't be taking him out for grinding, so. I was really trying to dodge that guy. This guy's name's Goliath, that's a fun name. Alright, alright, alright. <clears throat> we'll switch in Fisher, because Fisher resists all those rock type moves you'll use. Oh, that's so cute. You think you can just raise your your defense and it'll be fine? No, 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 no. We use special moves out here. That animation is way too intense for just mud slap. It's fine for like earth power, but it's way too intense for mud slap. I I'm gonna get better about like camera angle stuff here, like. I think I just need to lower it in general. Like, I think that'd do better. Because then I can, like, look more at my screen, too. Because like, unless I'm going to, like, raise my screen up to, like, uh, like, up another few inches, then I'm going to keep, like, looking in the wrong spot. I didn't see what was coming in, but it's probably a rock type. Yep, it sure is. That is probably one of the worst rock types I could have switched into. Then can you hit that thing with an electric move? I didn't left my door open so um, Sophie, my doggo, can walk in and out as she wishes right now. Because I've been, I kind of kept her cooped up for quite a while today. So I think I, she deserves to be able to kind of roam a little bit in the apartment. Keep an eye out for intruders as she likes to do. I really, I love like Mega Drain on Fisher. It's so good. Like just healing moves are so good. Makes me wish I had the big root. Oh, I thought I was just going to pull up the big root. I was like, ooh, baby. That'd be a tough choice, though, switch. No, wait, big root just makes you get more HP back whenever you use healing moves, right? It doesn't make you do more damage. There's, like, a whole thing, like, going on here. Oh, hey, look, it's the encounter that we got for anyone who's watched far enough in the video to see this. That's the boy we got. Oh, man, bro. Cats. She seems very excited about something. I don't know if she saw like a bird or something. Dang. This Diglett is like a lot faster than what I give it credit for. 
but it can't hit me with any strong moves, so. Okay, I clearly made it. I don't know if this guy's still gonna notice me for an encounter or not, or a battle. Let's see. Oh, cool, he'll take me to the entrance. No, but like, that is really great. I thought it was like just the guy at the very beginning and I was like, why would they have him just at the beginning? That makes no sense. But now it makes sense. Fun fact about this guy, I'm pretty sure at the same level I caught him originally and he has no attacking moves. That's a fun thing. My brother cries, ooh ah, but I say, let's fight. Is your brother in here or like, is that just a random thing you want to tell me? Ooh, that looks like the evolved form of Yamin. That's very cool, I like that. I'm still a little sad I didn't get a Yamin and instead I got a Beedrill. Well, we don't at the time, but that was way back in the beginning of the series, man. What level are you now? 31. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, obviously those are strength boulders that I can't mess with yet, so I'll have to come back. Um, I think I'm going to take advantage of this and go ahead and heal real quick. So, so I have to go back anyways most of the way through the cave. I also might go ahead and use a max repel to get back to where I was. But first we got to heal. That is a long, long cave. It's like... It's not quite rock tunnel. I would say it's closer to Mount Moonish. I would say. Does Mount Moon have things that you can't do whenever you first go there? Maybe. I think in like fan games they do that because they want to hide stuff there. All right. And I was gonna say stop before I got in the grass, but I made it right through the grass. All right. Stop right here. And max spell. Now we're just gonna zoom on through the cave and get right back to where we were. And I'm gonna waste a bunch of steps as I, you know, don't know where I'm going apparently. That way it looks interesting. Should go this way. Maybe not. I don't know, I'm getting all concerned now. What's common to hipsters and rune maniacs? Okay, I'm actually curious about this. What is common to hipsters and rune maniacs? I imagine it's supposed to be like, what do hipsters and rune maniacs have in common is what it's supposed to be. But since the game's like translated over and translation doesn't work 100% proper all the time. It's probably something like that. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, 75, let's go. Looks like there's something up here, right? Uh, this tunnel is chock full of interesting rocks. Here, have a look. Deep rock, damp rock, smooth rock. Nope. Don't need any of those. Uh, is this for free? Nope. Uh, Fort Belt City or Ishtar City. My colleagues have been taken hostage by those criminals. Help him, I beg you. Okay, don't know what criminals we're talking about. Sure, go and use another one's fine. The exit is near. I guess I can allow myself a battle. I just want to keep exploring though a lot. I can't help myself. I have, a, I have a very much completionist mindset whenever it comes to things like this, where like I'm just playing this game for fun for the most part. So I have a choice if I get to just go through it like quickly, or if I get to explore. And I feel like a lot of time I just want to explore. Rainbow must be heavier than what I think he is doing nothing right uh, a little more than what I would like 
I hope Raiden learns like a really, really good electric type move, but I feel like for a physical mon, like you're not getting a lot better than sparks. I don't want a wild charge. Um, it's like another static thing. I've been allowing like statics for the most part because I caught the, yeah, I got the sandy gas. And I feel like there was some other static that I also caught. I don't even think I really have Pokeballs though anymore. I really don't. Uh, so I'm gonna run from this for now. Uh, okay. They see that. That seems like a whole nother thing. Uh, of course, the step after I lose my repel, I have to encounter something. Man, I'm just trying to like explore this cave, man. I guess I probably like in that case I should have bought more repels if I knew I was going to explore. I mean, I need flash, but this cave is a true labyrinth. I don't know about that. I feel like you just have to be like smart about which ways you go, and like I know like what the general direction is like uh, up, and. Okay, I know you can paralyze in this game, so I'm gonna go for their paralysis. Um, I'm gonna go for Roost. I haven't even gotten to really use Roost. Hey, look at that, taking away that flying type in. Get on my level, Raichu. Oh boy, you got Thunderbolt. I was not ready for that one though. But now, thanks to Thunder Wave, I can just roost pretty freely. Okay, can you get paralyzed for like one turn though, please? It's like, what, 25% chance? Apparently not. And I'm paralyzed too. Okay, that's no longer fun. Uh, actually should be fine, right? Yeah. Hey. What are you doing? Sounds like you're doing something you're not supposed to. Autumn. Ooh, 32. All right. Quick healing. Uh, Prowess heal. And grab a super potion. Autumn. Hang on. Gotta get the cat out. There we go. Just gotta threaten them with the spray bottle. It works pretty well. Alright. Silence of the Gravity Tunnel is music to my ears. Really, because I think the uh, music in Gravity Tunnel is music to my ears. Hi, Autumn. Okay, I think this thing's a ghost type of sorts, but I think it might also be like a grass type, I think it was, or... Okay, it did not say it was super effective, so I was not right about a grass type, but I still won. Wait, Snow Day learned to recover? Ooh. I could see Curse Recover going really well. Um, gonna say no. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. I want it, I really do. But I just feel like I might be able to use... Ooh, Duskstone. I might be able to use like that turn better in a battle, you know? Like, if I can heal more than Recover can. It Because it's not like Roost where I like, completely get rid of my flying typing. Which I now have thought about like, that could also be bad. Because like, if I'm a pure electric type, then I don't... I also get hit by ground type moves. So I have to kind of watch when I use that. kind of one of those things like, I don't think about very often because I don't get to use roost okay 
Try to decide between going right or left. I feel like if I go right, then I'm more likely to hit an exit because there's that trainer on the right side who said, don't touch my mic, who said that the exit is close. And I feel like if I go, okay, I actually didn't go this way yet either. Okay, hold on. I guess I forgot about this way along the way going up. Ooh, Fisher. I'm also tempted to go for another treasure hunt. Like, those treasure hunts are kind of weird, but they're also fun. Ooh, Dratini. Oh! This is what that, um, Kid, Kid Loon evolves into. That thing looks sick. And I did not do much to it. Um, so let's see, if that wasn't very effective on you. Well, flying is, and then it's not grass? No, no, can't be grass. Did I die? Oh yeah, sure did, yeah. Yep. Yep, it had flail, and it lived. Nice. That sucks. He was about to evolve in two levels. <clears throat> well, eat this avalanche. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Damn. Well... Um, you're slow, you're slow. I'm just gonna put Neon out front right now. That's so dumb. Leo living on almost no health. So it's obviously gonna be better to... Uh, I wanted to use it to wall form, and I don't even remember what it was called either. I mean, I guess I still, like, technically have a chance. Like, if I wanted to, I could... Like, not enact dupes at a certain point. And that would kind of give me a chance to use it again, and maybe better. Because as I, like, just continuously kept saying, like, if this mod was, like, uh, had slightly better, like, nature or, uh, IVs, then I would really, really like it. And I already liked it a lot, as is. Alright, what'd I get? Ooh, dive ball. That's fun. Ooh, item. Alright, that really... That bums me out so much. like that bird. Is the bird the last thing I added to my team, too? I think I replaced something else with it. I don't really want to fight that other guy. I think I'm going to try to, like, move on and get through here now. Now I'm down a team member, I need- I know I need to, like, add something new to the team, so... I also might need to end up finding out if, um, Haunter can evolve into Gengar. Because it seems like it can with, uh, Porygon having ways to evolve it, and it ha but those are, like, trade item things, so I don't know if that's the same thing, you know? So I don't know if they're like catering more towards trade item mon versus just traded mon. Because for all I know they could have just changed it so like uh Gengar just gets to Ooh. Uh Hunter just gets to evolve into Gengar at like 40 or something, you know? Okay. Um Doing use. I think personally, I think like Arthur is the thing I want most on the team. But I already also already have a fairy type. I feel like for typing that I don't have, the only one in here right now. I'm gonna say ones is Magikarp, Weasel, 
and Baneri. I don't have a water type or normal. I mean, Magikarp wouldn't be bad if I get him trained up and get a Gyarados. I'm gonna go with that. I might see a team format change though, to be honest. Just kind of switch everyone around, get some new faces in. Uh, I don't think I really need healing because I didn't really use anyone else. Yeah. Alright, so at least now I have like a decent reason to fight trainers. Because my team's already like pretty, I think, over leveled at this point. I kind of wish I could have bought repels from that, that guy down there rather than the rocks. To me, those rocks are only really good if you have um, a mon with, like, the ability that activates the weather. Yeah, I can't get that. I just leave the Hippopotasses alone for now. Because I don't really know if I want to worry about catching one at all. Oh, there's only one. Alright, I don't know if this is an exit or not. Might change how far I go into it, too. Okay, that's 100 percent exit um they don't want to encounter either um gonna try my best to make it through here do you smell it is it sulfur okay autumn okay i don't no, this thing's typing. Autumn. Stop touching the screen. Stop touching the screen. Okay, well, I guess I'm glad I one-shotted that thing. Autumn. Stop touching the screen. He's, like, trying to touch my face cam screen. I think it said Whimsicott. Um... But Snow Day can fight a Whimsicott. Autumn. Hands off. Really? You don't have a better move than Absorb at 27? That's wild. I, mean, I guess I shouldn't be that mad, because, like, it seems like if it would have hit me with something too strong, like how Gloom gets Giga Drain early, then I might have died. Jeez. Okay, let's go Tempest. Trying to get that Gyarados. Let's go. I think we're like level 12 now, so like we're doing okay. Uh, I'm just gonna avoid that person. That's a whole thing going on there too. Uh, I think this is the way to town. Just trying to make it a town right now. I need like a home base that's like easier to use right now. Okay, uh, no, Neon's not fighting that, um, Ice Arc really, like, bodies my team, though. It's okay, I got Hermie. Hermie! Hermie's taking that. More or less. I mean, it was a crit. And I got Dazzle and Gleam now, which will probably one-shot this thing. This guy can't freeze me. That's probably the one thing I am glad about it. Ooh, so close. Good voice. Alright, that's a sound type move too, I forgot. Glaceon. Um... I think I might still be sitting on my best bet right now with even a Glaceon. I'm still a little worried about it, though. Both female, so I can't go on that side. Let's go with good voice again. Decent, but not great. I think the Super Potion makes sure what it does. I really want Hermie to evolve. I feel like with how early you get this thing in the game, I would imagine it evolves way sooner. Yep, bite. That's what I was worried about. 
why I didn't want to send a Neon against this thing. Alright, one more Dowsing Gleam should take it out. Yes. Okay, we're good. Yay, Tempest can attack finally. to Ishtar City. Where there are berries everywhere. Uh no, I wouldn't. But apparently I can't get to the Pokemon Center. Um Well I'm not liking this. Uh Okay. So apparently creating a home base for myself did not work out at all. <clears throat> okay, whenever there are two berries on the ground, I really feel like I should be able to step over them. Um, okay, so there's a lot going on here. Um, And it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to heal without paying for it. Or maybe there's like a nurse joy like in the other town. Maybe, maybe. Come on. I mean, that nurse joy. There's that guy up there. Or his stuff is up there. Okay. Um, alright, so I think I might have just, you know, kind of uh, put myself in a corner here, essentially. Uh, come on, lady, wake up, please. Sir, at least say something. But why is no one answering? Come on, break this hypnosis. No way, absolutely must run for help. And who are you? I've never seen you around here before. What a treat. You are not under this spell. I'm begging for your help, trainer. Something must happen. Must have happened while I was out of town taking care of some business. It seems that a Pokemon has cast a spell over the entire oasis of Ishtar City. And to make it even worse, the gym leader is stuck inside her own gym because of that. Please, you're the only one who can help our city get rid of this plague. Uh, not right now. Oh, you have to. That sucks. Then why do they give you the option? Thank you very much. Don't waste any time. There must be a way to solve this tragedy. I really hate that. Why Why give you the option then to say yes or no if they force you to say yes? This doesn't make any sense. Um... Uh, I'm going to take this healing. I don't even know if I really needed that that, ba that much. I can definitely see that I have like some leaders on the team who pretty much... Alright, so I have pretty much like grinding to do. That's the thing though, like... Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and end off the episode because I, like I said, I, I grind and do. I think I'm gonna kind of like reformat the team. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what we're gonna do. Um, we'll be back for the, um, the next day, which I got lost for which day is which day now. So, uh, yeah, so see you guys then. Boop, boop, boop. Bye.